Hello again, it's Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I'm still using blooming recipes, only I'm going to do something really rogue and take all of the paint that I've got for two, the last two days from my pillow paints and put them on this canvas, if I can, <laughs> and see what happens. Because I think it's going to be fantastic. And then I'll just go back to using that afterwards. No matter what I get, I don't think I can really fail. It should take a very short amount of time. And I'm not sure about the blowing part. So I'm going to do that. Because there is some cell activator in there. I think I'm just going to tip this puppy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring that same dish right back again. I don't know how many times I can get away with this. Or even if I can get away with this. But I bet I can get away with this because there's beautiful colors there. I want my edge catcher. <laughs> okay. So, I've never used an edge catcher with this before. And it's probably improper, to say the least. But I'm used to using them, so I might as well try it once, right? Because that paint should flow right down over the side. I might have to stick my finger in something. I'm going to try it again. I can throw it right back onto the canvas and it's still okay. I'm going to bring it around to the side, go the long way, see if that'll cover my edge completely. I really want to add some other colors. It's a mixture of black and white. It's mostly going to be agate, I think. I don't know if there's going to be cells or not. I know I can continue to throw what I see that's beautiful. There's primary elements by color art in there and a whole lot of other things. And I have been using my spatulas to knock paint off my edges and also to apply paint to my edges like so. Just start at the top and let the uh, let the skim of color attach itself and just pull it down as you go. So that's completely covered and that took like no time at all. And I made less of a mess. I'm learning how to make less of a mess as I go along. Where's my other dish? So I have some beautiful things happening here and I like them. But I think if I want to do something different, I'm going to have to contemplate on doing that now. And this is a cell activator that's a golden product. My magenta. And I don't know what's going to happen with that, but it's worth a try for me. I'm also going to grab a little bit of this gold as long as I can find something to apply it with. Wipe off my spatula. Maybe that'll work. And just a little goes a long way. We'll see if I'm right. I've got all kinds of paint that I wish was off of that edge catcher, which is just a really stiff piece of plastic. My residuals back on. I think I want something else there. And what I want, I think I covered up my, my application sticks. I 
I'm kind of inclined to look for a little tiny swipe card and use it. But since I seem to have put my glasses down somewhere not in my pocket, I'm working blind. I have something else to try. Ah, it's not really working. Just makes me want purple. Go figure. And since the paint I put on originally wasn't any more, it wasn't any thicker than any normal pillow paint, that means I can add cell activator wherever I want. And blow it out. And maybe tip it, who knows? I'd like it if it was successful. I'd like to find my glasses, honestly. And there they are, cool. Alrighty. So see if I can separate this artwork. Looks like I'm willing to pour some stuff away to get the rest of the cells stretched out. And they're still moving pretty well. I'm looking at this and all I can think of is I want some more orange. And I have some. I do tend to hold my my artworks at an, at an extreme angle. That's a lot better. That's pretty cool, actually. Maybe I'll just keep going in that direction a little bit more. So much for wasting pillow paint. <laughs> I'm still wasting pillow paint. It's in there. But next time you go to throw away your to-go container, to realize it has a double function. That is such a lot of paint. But very pretty. I'm going to rinse off for a second and tell you guys I do sell my artwork. If you give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it very much. If you want to help me out more so, you can shop the Amazon link at no it cost you. And it does help me out, eventually. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I want to put some orange in there. I still want some orange in there. Being that most of my background paint turned out to be black, which is pretty cool. That little bit of orange isn't hurting my feelings a bit. Do I want something down here? I kind of do. But what is it going to be? I'm going 
as long as we're in for penny, in for a pound, I'll just add another little dollop right up at the top. That pink probably should have been activator. I could still put a little in at the bottom if I wanted to. There. Pretty cool. I'm going to do what I've been doing and torch. Well, I say that. And then I go, well, maybe just a little more gold wouldn't hurt anything. Because I like that. Just got to be careful where that string is going to wind up. Because the paint is very sticky. I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. And uh, you should check my created playlists on my channel to uh, find over a thousand videos organized by the hundred and by genre. And I've done a few videos today, so I'm having a hard time remembering what I said in which one. But uh, I love you guys. Thank you all for the wonderful comments and thank you for the donations that have kept me painting. And if you want to be included in any monthly drawing, it's a $10 minimum. You can see what the prizes are for that month on the end screen. There's a video, an exhibition video of every video. <laughs> there's that exhibition video. Yeah, I'm getting redundant. I'm getting cold too. <laughs> the temperature has dropped and the sun has gone down. And I had one more painting I wanted to do. So I know you guys are going to be gone soon, but I'm going to torch again because I love the cells the torching produces and it hasn't seemed to do me any problems so far. All right, you guys, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the back here at saying thank you for joining me. If you want to join me again, I have a video almost every day, and sometimes two or three times a day, because I'm trying to catch up. I appreciate you guys and your loyalty. I love you dearly. You can find videos for tomorrow, usually on my community board on my YouTube channel and on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. And um, there's all kinds of other things. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I don't have a lot of information about the blooms. I'm just learning how to do them myself, but um, I'm loving what's happening for me, and I'm not going to stop doing it. <laughs> I'm going to do some scapes soon, which I know a few of you are, are definitely waiting for. And uh, my birthday's coming up February 9th, so uh, I'll probably be doing a little more of that same wave on a longer venue if I can. I love you guys. I said that. I'm going to go now <laughs> before I tip trip over my tr tongue any longer. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I'll see you anon.